with the way. Happening right now, primary day showdown. Race results are rolling in here at the bottom of your screen. And good evening to you. I'm Sheree Palello. An exciting lead up and tonight it is getting going. We have team coverage tonight. Reporters spread out all across the area covering all the big races. But we begin tonight with WLWT News Slice Todd Dykes on a major win as Dayton's former mayor comes out on top in the race for governor, winning the Democratic nomination tonight. Hi, Todd. That's right, Sheree. You know, after spending the last eight years as Dayton's mayor, Nan Whaley now has her sights set on Ohio's governor mansion. Uh, the 46-year-old Democrat cruised past her opponent in today's primary, former Cincinnati Mayor John Cranley, to become their party's nominee for governor. Now, both NBC News and the AP called the race for Whaley less than 90 minutes after polls closed statewide. Whaley and her running mate, Cheryl Stevens, an elected leader in Cleveland Heights, took the stage about 45 minutes ago to talk about their victory. Their shared message, Ohio needs bold new ideas to move the state forward. Whaley was sharply critical of the incumbent she'll face this fall, Republican Mike DeWine. A Whaley saying DeWine has spent his four decades in government moving the Buckeye State in the wrong direction from where it once was. Folks moved here because Ohio was building the future, a state of innovation and creativity, of inventors and astronauts. But today... A small group of politicians and corporate lobbyists are standing in the way. They're more interested in holding on to power than making sure the future is built in Ohio again. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for a change. Change certainly the theme of that speech and a round, uh, rounds of loud applause. Whaley concluded her speech this evening by saying that Ohio is at a crossroads. She said people in the state are working harder but falling further behind, all while DeWine and others in Columbus uh, hold on to power and, quote, line their pockets. Strong words that mark the start of what could be a very contentious general election contest. For now, reporting live in Dayton, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. Todd, did Whaley talk at all about Cincinnati's former mayor, John Cranley, during tonight's victory speech? She did, Cherie. In fact, uh, Whaley said, quote, I want to thank my friend uh, John Cranley. This has been a hard-fought campaign, but I genuinely appreciate his ideas and plans and look forward to working him over the next six, six months, end quote. So kind words for the Can uh, Cranley team, but clearly a big victory tonight for Nan Whaley. Cherie? No doubt about it, and it, uh, it was called very early, which I think surprised a lot of people. Todd Dykes live for us tonight with the Whaley campaign. Todd, thanks so much. A disappointing night, as you can imagine, for former Cincinnati Mayor John Cranley. A hard-fought campaign came to a halt tonight. And WLWT News 5's Curtis Fuller is with the Cranley camp tonight. A, a very successful politician, Curtis. Not often emotional, but we did see that side of him tonight, for sure. Yeah, it was real obvious that he was uh, very emotional uh, in this loss. I can tell you he said that he congratulated uh, Nan Whaley. He did also call her a friend. He also says she's a good person and says she had a, a, a great campaign. Uh, I should tell you that Cranley described Whaley's win as decisive. I heard that word decisive, and I know that that word was used intentionally. Uh, he called it a decisive victory. And, you know, going into this race, most observers said the candidates had more things in common than things that were different, both calling for a growing Ohio, both critical of Governor Mike DeWine. John Cranley says the focus now is to win in November. We have a lot going on in this state and in this country, and I hope that people stay involved uh, through uh, November. Um, I also want to congratulate uh, Senator uh, Sherrod Brown and many others um, and recognize that uh, we as a party have got to come together and unify in light of recent events and uh, the many issues that face us. Yeah, so again, you could hear in his voice the disappointment of tonight and this long campaign. Uh, his running mate, Teresa Fetter, says they will be back. Reporting live, I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5. Curtis, any one factor you think that sealed his fate in this election? You know, that's interesting, and I asked a few people, you have to think that that early endorsement by Senator Sherrod Brown really tilted this election 
uh, because uh, both uh, Nan Whaley and John Cranley, they have so much in common. Both uh, mayors, both served on their uh, city councils. And so uh, that early endorsement by the senator, uh, many said, even down here, that probably uh, tipped the scale just a bit and again gave her a, a decisive, I will use John Cranley's word, a decisive victory tonight. All right, Curtis, thank you. Yeah, much like the endorsement of former President Donald Trump in the GOP Senate race, uh, weighing heavily both of those endorsements. Thank you so much, Curtis Fuller. All right, shifting gears now to Ohio's U.S. Senate race and J.D. Vance beating out several other Republicans, sealing that nomination tonight. So I believe he is uh, addressing the crowd and accepting the nomination. So let's listen in.